watching. This is video number two for Star Scorecard, cheat code uh, 5.9a. This is video number two. We've already talked about the vocab, already talked about the concept, so go back and watch video number one if you missed it. Question number two. The graph shows the number of hours that four businesses were open on Friday. Okay. But remember that all of these charts and graphs and stuff, they show two variables simultaneously. The x value has a variable, and the y is a variable. So here's the different businesses, four businesses, and here's the number of hours that were open. All right, so based on the information uh, in the graph, which statement could be true? We want to be true, okay? That's what we're looking for, the correct statement. The dry cleaner, all right, dry cleaner right here, opened at 6.15 a.m. and closed at 6.15 p.m. Okay, 6.15 to 6, okay, that's 12 hours, right? 12 hours. Well, the dry cleaner was open uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and a half hours. No, that is wrong. Okay, notice that this is a pattern, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7 and a half, 8, 8 and a half, 9, 9 and a half, 10, 10 and a half. How does it go from 0 to 7? If you have a chart like this, and it's got a squiggly, right here it means the pattern got broken. So in order to help focus on just these hours, they gave a squiggly here to go from 0 to 7, and then now the pattern is there. Gee, the restaurant opened, okay, the restaurant, we're looking at the restaurant, opened at 11.45 a.m. and closed at 9.30. When we're dealing with time, let's, let's look at this, 11.45. Okay, so 11.45 to 9.30 p.m. How many hours is that? Let's do uh, 15 minutes and it takes us to 12, right? So 15 minutes and now we're at 12. 12 to 9 is 9 hours because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so that's 9 hours. 9 hours plus 30 minutes, because that only takes us to nine. So 15 minutes, nine hours, and 30 minutes. Okay, that would be nine hours and 45 minutes. Equals nine, 45, hours and minutes. Restaurant was open eh, 10 hours? Was it open 10 hours? No, look, nine hours, nine hours and 30 minutes, 10 hours. That's that. Look how close it is. That's not right, though. The post office opened at 9 a.m. and closed at 6. Well, let's count it. Um, 9 to 6. So 10. Look, at, I'm using my fingers. It's okay. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 9 hours. Post office worked. Oh, that's 8 and a half. So that's not right, because we needed it to go here. So it didn't, it didn't make it. The clinic opened at 7.30 and closed at 6.30 p.m. So let's count it, right? 7.30, 7. So we're starting there. We'll go um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's it. That's correct. The clinic, J is our answer. Notice, 7.30 to 6.30. So I just changed it to 7 to 6. I took 30 minutes from each. It's okay because it's, it's the same duration. And then I, you can use your fingers every time. Count, draw, you, mark up your test. Okay. Answer is J. Any question that has time in it, you need to pause and you need to think, okay, be careful here. Be careful with questions about time. They're always tricky. The graph shows the number of students in a math club, okay, who voted uh, for each of the four types of pizza. So one, two, three, four types of pizza. And these are the number of students. Number of students, types of pizza. The X axis and the Y so he's always going to compare two different things. Which statement is best supported by the graph? 
A. The number of students who voted for mushroom pizza is two times the number of students who voted for the sausage pizza. So, mushroom is greater than sausage, okay? Mushroom is greater than sausage. That's what A is saying. Let's, let's see. Mushroom. No, mushroom is, is less than sausage. So, that's wrong. The number of students who voted for sausage pizza is 13 more than, 13 more than, so sausage is more than, is greater than the number of students who voted for cheese. Sausage is greater than cheese by 13. So cheese is 8, okay, and then sausage is 20, look, it's halfway between 20 and 24, so that would be 22. So it's 22 minus 8, uh, borrow from the 1, 12 minus 8 is 4, 14. Nope, because it says 13, not 14. Scratch work. Look at all my scratch work. The number of students who voted for pepperoni pizza is 6 fewer than the number who voted for mushroom. So pepperoni is less than mushroom. Is that correct? Because it says 6 fewer than Pepperoni is less than mushroom. Oh, goodness. This has got to be wrong. Right? Who, who orders mushroom pizza over pepperoni? That is, that is weird. Okay, six, because four, six, eight. So mushroom is 12, and then pepperoni is six. Okay, so this is right. Pepperoni is less than mushroom. Let's now we subtract, okay? 12 minus 6 is, borrow, is 6. Okay, that one is correct. That is silly. Who's going to vote for mushroom over pizza, over pepperoni? The number of students who voted for cheese pizza is one more. So cheese is greater than number of students who voted for pepperoni. Oh, no, it's not. Look, it's one line, but do you see 6 and 8? That's tricky. They're giving you data, zero, two, four, but they're, it's not counting by one, it's counting by two. So, wrong. Answer is C. Okay, number four. Data, graphs, tables, charts, look at all these dot plots, scatter plots, or not dot plots, uh, dot plots, not scatter plots. The thickness of the boards Dennis used for the construction project are listed below. These measurements are in inches, okay? Quarter inch, three quarter, half inch, three quarter, one eighth. This is going to take time. If you have a, a dot plot, which dot plot represents the measurements? If you have a dot plot, it's gonna take time to check your answers. Watch what I do and watch how I do this. So look, this is zero, one quarter inch, so this is a Less than a quarter, three quarter. This is crazy. So one eighth, uh, three eighths, one half, five eighths. All right, uh, three quarters, seven eighths. Okay, so we filled in. We we learned our scale here. One eighth, there's one. Okay, so check. One quarter. Okay, there's um, three eighths, there's nothing. There's no dot there. One half, there's two. One half. One half. Five eighths. You see how I'm filling in each dot and I'm marking it off as I go? Do that. Mark up your test. Uh, three quarters. Oh, this one's wrong. Three quarters. Because look, three quarters, an extra three quarters, it should be right here. But it's seven eighths instead, so that's wrong. F is wrong. We're going to go through this each one until we get it. Okay. One eighth. Three eighths. Uh, five eighths, uh, seven eighths and one. Okay, look, three quarter, three quarter, uh, and three quarter. So there needs to be three dots here, and there's not, so it's not H. Three quarters has three dots, three quarters has three dots. Okay, perfect. 
So we're good there. Two, three. Now let's look at two ducks, one half and one half. Both of these have one half, okay? One half and one half, perfect. So both of these have two dots and three dots. Now let's go to one, has one, okay? So we got it there. And, oh, we don't have it. Look, the one has to be here. So our answer is J. Do you see? I'm marking it off. I'm scratching the test. I'm marking it up. Okay? Uh, you can use highlighters if you need to bring your own highlighter to the star test. You use whatever colors you want. Take care of yourself. Help yourself on the test. Do your scratch work. Okay, and that's it guys. That's it for, for this uh, video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.